So that's what we make here is a lot of whiskey. But I was fascinated by the process of whiskey. I, I love whiskey anyway. I love, I love the, the nuances. No, there is absolutely not a right or wrong way to, to drink whiskey. Whiskey is an awful lot of fun to make. There, there are you know, so many different grains you can use. Um, we've got world-class barley here in Colorado. Um, because of all the work that Coors has done with family farmers in the region for so long. It just seems silly not to uh, turn that into whiskey. Well, Colorado's a wonderful place to get some of the best raw materials around. It's, it's very warm during the days and cold at night, and so it creates um, you know, very large kernels. So I think that definitely affects uh, the richness of the barley and the flavor. Having all four of the mother grains of the United States in them, so that's corn, rye, wheat, and barley. I'm definitely a barrel nerd. I love the uh, the flavor profile that uh, that the barrel will impart into the, into the spirit. You know, for me, I, I'm fascinated with that. There's so many ways that you can age a whiskey, and uh, and just the, the the amount of flavor that you can pull from the barrel. We say there's no wrong way to drink whiskey. Um, I'm kind of purist though, I like to drink whiskey, I like to, to nose it. Rock this glass back and forth, breathe in through your nose and your mouth. You can get so much nuance from nosing the whiskey. That first sip, it's going to kind of warm up your mouth, you're going to feel that nice warmth going down uh, in your chest. That's kind of what I call the acclimating sip. We say never judge on your first taste, always take your second And then your second, uh, second sip, you're definitely going to get a lot more uh, of the flavor profile and the nuances of the whiskey. Um, for me, that's where you start really enjoying what you're drinking. And then you can add just a little bit of water and just a little bit of ice. You can see the, the fusel oil is swirling around. For us, that's part of the enjoyment of it. Those are, you're going to get a lot of flavor from those. So the, the very last sip is very watered down. It's probably only about 20% alcohol. But for me, um, I'm chasing after the flavors. And that, to me, is, is the best way to enjoy whiskey. I think people can kind of strangle the fun out of wine, beer, and spirits sometimes, where it's more about showing off your knowledge about a particular beverage than it is just relaxing and enjoying it and enjoying the people that you're with and enjoying the hospitality that surrounds the whiskey.